What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Morgantown, West Virginia at Middletown Homes and we are currently standing inside of an absolutely spectacular colony modular home. So let me get you outside through that door and I will tell you all about it. All right, so this is the Blue Ridge. This is one of the reasons I was most excited about coming out here. I've been dying to get into this home. Uh, on their website, actually, it's shown with a garage, which is an option and it looks phenomenal. I'll go ahead and bring it up for you right now so you can see it. Um, I mean, just super cute looking home, you know what I mean? Now, the garage is not going to be included in the price that I will be giving you today, but it is something that you can uh, talk about having added onto the home. Anyway, this home is a two bedroom, two bath. It's approximately 1,080 square feet, and it does have, that's just, that's the base floor, like the first floor. This home does have an unfinished second floor as well that you can finish off and do whatever you wanted to. If you wanted to add that third bedroom, third bathroom, uh, you could definitely do that. This is the side door right here that would lead out into your garage should you get one. If not, even just adding a side porch over here, I think that would look spectacular as well. If you do want any more information on this model or Middletown Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description, as well as over at timothyplivingston.com, where you can search both this floor plan as well as all the other floor plans that we've toured across the country, and you can find out if they're built in your area or not. You can find out a lot of the specs as well as pricing in each one of the blog posts, so definitely go check that out. Anyway, coming around to the side over here, you do have several windows coming out of both the kitchen and the living room. I love the living room in here. I think it looks pretty cool. A little accent wall that it's got in here. The only thing that I wish it did have, which it doesn't have, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that right now, is, uh, is a fireplace. But man, oh man, I'm sure that you could add one and it would look amazing. But, go ahead and show you the front door real quick. We'll get inside. All right, and then stepping inside, this is the view that we are greeted with. So you do have your living room and kitchen over here, and then you do have this stairwell going up to the second floor. We'll go ahead and pop up there real quick, just after I show you the front door right here. So the front door uh, opens up into vinyl plank floors, which are nice wide planks. Looks really nice. And then coming upstairs, I mean, it's wide open up here and the ceilings are gigantic so definitely enough room to put another bedroom if you wanted to you got the end-to-end -end gables which kind of help give a lot of headroom up here get another bathroom up here maybe like a little sitting area or whatever you can come up with and then coming back downstairs we'll go ahead and get into the living room so you have these great big windows that kind of surround just give it a great big hug hug in the living room but it, they all do let in a bunch of light from every different direction and then you have this nice accent wall right here i think this would be a great spot to put like an electric fireplace mount a, a nice mantle over the top of it and then you got your tv to place over it too i think that would look really good And then just off of the living room, you have your kitchen with this kind of funky shaped counter island. But big space, a lot of room up here for plenty of seats. Kind of tapers off, gets a little narrow down on this end. Interesting. And then we got plenty of cabinets and drawers. I don't think I've toured too many colony modular homes i think we toured one or two up in pennsylvania a couple times but beyond that i think it would only be a handful of colony homes that we've seen but on the opposite or on the main counter surfaces it's a big old l-shaped countertop with plenty of cabinets i mean you got cabinets for days then you have these wood shelves in here also. You have your dishwasher, stainless sink, looking out of this window on the side of the home. And then you have your gas stove, 
with your microwave sitting above it. And then on the opposite side, more, I had to look around the corner to make sure there wasn't another cabinet. But I guess this would be your pantry. Maybe not, there's another door over here too. We'll check that out. Refrigerator and another little counter space right here. Open up one more. It's like, I'm compelled to open them. I can't help it sometimes. All right, so this is access down into your basement should this home sit on a basement type foundation. However, if you were to sit on say a crawl space, you could turn that into your pantry. So just, uh, just something to keep in mind. Just off of the kitchen is your side door, but they did something pretty nifty over here, kind of turned it into like a utility room also. So you have stackable washer and dryer. And then some more cabinet space in here. And then to the left side, as you're walking towards that side door, you have uh, single vanity. This is your first full bathroom. So single vanity, your toilet, and then you have a shower and tub combo in here. And then sitting at the front of the house, this is the first bedroom. So you got this window. Good sized bedroom. And then you got a closet. And then on the opposite side of the kitchen, sitting towards the back of the home, you have the master bedroom. I guess it says towards the back and on the side. It's like in the back corner. But it's kind of cool how they laid it out. I like how you have like the bedroom space right here and then it kind of wraps around. I don't know what's over here though. It's just the closet. Oh yeah. So you got a nice big old closet in here too. And then coming out of there, all the way at the back of the bedroom, you do have the ensuite single vanity, but it has plenty of counter space. And then you have a linen closet. Ooh, ooh, that slipped. And then you have your toilet. And then around the corner, you have your shower and tub combo. It's got this great big wide tub in here too. So very nice. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Middletown Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description, as well as over at timothyplivingston.com, where you can search for this model, as well as all the other homes that we've toured across the country. And you can see if they're built in your area, as well as take the video tour that we've done. So a whole bunch of information over there for you. As far as this home, it starts at approximately $230,000. Of course, that may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. I am not a salesman nor affiliated with any of the homes that I show here on the channel. I'm simply here for inspiration and entertainment purposes only. That being said, my name is Timothy. Do me a favor and check out this video right here because I know you're gonna love it. And I will see your beautiful face in the next one.